Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. Another interesting thing about this book is it was written really over 20 years. One step of John's life evoked a writing. He put it down. One day, as he just kept these as blogs, as posts, one day it appeared that the book was written. Yeah, that's exactly what And I love that because yeah. I have written mine, actually, in retrospect, rather than the way you've done it, just living every day in the dilemmas and all the experiences, and so that, that gives it such freshness. I want to know how many pages you ended up with. Um, the, it's 248 pages. Um, 248? Yeah, 248. There's a couple blank pages in the back. So you have to do in denominations of certain amounts to, for the printer. Mm-hmm. But I know that the, the, the final number is 248. That includes, um, uh, you know a couple of pages of ads and, and a couple of blank pages yeah. and the table of contents and everything like that. It includes everything, but that's a rich book. <laughs> it's a rich book. That's a lot of pages. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> and, and you're right. It was, it was written in the moment. Mm-hmm. The reflection mm-hmm. came after when I was going through and compiling it. Mm-hmm. Then I was, then I filled in uh, different things, but it, it was literally, the book is literally me walking hand in hand with God through my life. It was past present. Absolutely. It was him walking me through the situation. I wasn't reflecting back on it. It was literally in the moment. Mhm. And uh and that's a good way to that's maybe that's an encouragement to others keep a journal uh-huh. and one day it might turn into a fabulous book. Well, you know, the we are currently working on uh, the Great Exchange, and I'm. Uh, I would love it to be done by the end of the year. Um, we're at the very last parts of it. COVID has messed up the printing uh, industry, and uh, they're printing everything from you know spring to fall all right now because they had three months that nobody printed. So. Uh, there may be a delay in that. This book would be done if it wasn't for COVID, mm-hmm. you know. But um, but now the the Great Exchange uh, is the next one, and and literally, I mean, it's it's right there. Uh, I, I've finished it. I, we're going through the proofing, and then I'm passing it off to someone to format it, and get it ready for the printer. So uh, and and we're going away actually. This coming up weekend, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm going to literally go through and read it and just word for word, l- literally read the entire thing and just make sure. And that's quite a bit bigger. Is it really? Wow. The, 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 the Great Exchange is epic. <laughs> wow. I'm thinking of also that we had a, a lady who we don't know bring us a word about the publishing of it. She did. And uh, she t- we, we felt she was right mm-hmm. what she said. Mm-hmm. So it's been very interesting that people have been kind enough to sustain us and be aware mm-hmm. of what we're going through. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate that. She called out of the blue. I, we didn't know her. And she called with a confirmation of what the Lord was showing us to do is, is not publish it with the publishing house, um, but to publish it in God's choice, which it ended up being us self-publishing it, which... You know, there's limitations to that, but there's also going to be a lot. I think it's going it, to it, it's going to do exactly what she said it was going to do, which is uh, be presented by him with his value and his worth and value of it, because it's not diluted. Mm-hmm. And um, so both of these books, they're both both coming out, and and uh, they're both going to be. Uh, the the writing of both of them are exactly the same. It was literally God hand walking me through life and I now the Great Exchange has more personal stories, a lot more personal stories. Because it's a concept. The uh Christ in you, the hope of glory is such a 
ethereal and heavenly uh, concept. I mean, it's 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 beyond. You can't get it in the in the flesh. It does make sense. Or if you do get it in the flesh, you're just rationalizing stuff out. And we've seen people do that. We've seen them try to live it, and you can't do that. <laughs> but that one I take, and I literally, I, I show you exactly how he, he was Christ in me, the hope of glory. Uh, how it was not I, but Christ. And how that looked on both ends going into it and coming out of it and and uh every experience there's a lot of real fun stories in there and uh there's painful stories in there because both of these deal with god is god both of them deal with god is god and i'm almost finished with the second booklet to the joy unequaled of being nothing i can't tell you how much Many have, have gone out. I, I mean, I, I, uh, I've had people that, that got copies of them, and then they would call and order 100. And they would just say, oh my gosh, I have to give this out to everybody. It is a, an amazing, amazing, amazing booklet. And all these things, all these messages are tied totally together. You know, you, you can't have uh sovereignty you can't okay you can't have the great exchange unless you have sovereignty down pat it's just not going to happen you they they go they paired together um if your god isn't sovereign there's no way you're going to trust him to be your life mm -hmm. and um if he, he's not sovereign you're not going to accept his life you know if you think that he's not sovereign why would you why would you ever give him free reign in your life uh and then the joy unequal to being nothing it's it's connected to that it's the, it's part of the exchange life mm -hmm. and the next one's either going to be the joy of fullness mm -hmm. or the joy of emptiness depending on which I, <laughs> how, <laughs> how the lord leads <laughs> well i'm looking forward to that I, I, if you if you look at everything that you've you've published, uh, we knew that um, that everything was written in an order. Okay, so you did all and only first, and that was God's sovereignty over biblical characters, and you did it in the most uh, beautiful uh, poetic prose way. It's not poetry, but it's it's done in a an amazingly beautiful way that you have to flesh out um, it's the bare bones and you have to flesh it out with your own life which is precisely what needs to happen with that message and then from the all and only you brought in adoration because if you don't have the sovereignty thing down you, you can't hit the love you can't have the adoration you can have false adoration you can have false worship but really, unless God is God, you can't. God is who he is, and if you don't love him how he is, you don't really love him. Okay? And then you come in with chariot of fire, which you, you say, okay, you know, you're, you're being prepared for this, and then this is what's coming against you. And then you uh, did the, the altogether forgiven, the mystery of discipleship, and then you're coming up with the bride. They're all connected. They're all. It's a pattern. And even all the booklets, how they they were laid out. It, it's a it's a forward moving progression. Sequence. It's a sequence. Absolutely. If you get the one, then you go to the next one. Not that they're not standalone, but the the messages are complementary and link like a chain. Uh or a ladder, whatever, whatever visual you want. And, um, and I think that that's what's happening with, with mine as well. It's a, it's, and it's interesting, we both started, the very first book we both did is about sovereignty. Because everything else is built on that. If your God is not sovereign, you do not go forward. Mm -hmm. I, I never thought of it that way, John. 
But one of the first dynamic message of the Lord to me was about sovereignty in my 20s, mm. early. And all in only took me 10 years of living to before I published it. Yeah. You wrote adoration a lot faster. Mm -hmm. um, and But all in only literally was a process. Mm -hmm. So you wrote it very similar to how I did. It was, it was, mm -hmm. yeah. Living experience. Mm -hmm. In the moment you in write the it. Light of the scripture. Mm -hmm. By the unction of the spirit. Right. So, I like the fun that you're putting into it, and in the book, it's there's irony and laughter. Yeah. And joy. The great and big wonder. The great big woolly booger, and and there's there's stories in there that are that are absolutely hysterically funny, and precious. In the original version, I laid out uh, at the very beginning in the intro, I laid out all these questions, and she really, really uh, wisely said that um, I I need to make each of these uh, questions as a uh, a lead in to the sections, the different sections. I thought that was really good. I thought it was really good. And um, so, you know, uh, the, the, the section titles are uh, Experience the Sovereign Touch, Where Was God in the Pain of My Story? What Happens If I Resist God's Sovereignty? Is this for God's good or mine too? Is sovereignty all about control? What about corrupt authorities and government? Can I trust a sovereign God? How is God sovereign over this world? Receiving the sovereign touch and knowing God as sovereign Lord. And uh, I mean, I take you, I take you from the beginning all the way out and bring you right back in, and and show you where it's all going. Why? Why in the world would I want to accept over the pains in my life and and the struggles in my life? Why would I want to accept? his sovereignty over it all. And I show you exactly why you would want to do that. What the divine purpose of it all is and, and what the reward is. And when you, you, you get through the whole thing and you've, you've seen it and you go, Oh, well the trade off is okay. That's, that's awesome. So, well, this month's uh, message of the month in November, um, is actually going to be about sovereignty and you're going to, you know, kind of launch off. The sovereignty is such a, a, a subject that, you know, I will probably always be writing about it for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're doing this uh, uh, in November. Your, your message of the month is, is touching on an aspect of sovereignty that is uh, pretty, pretty phenomenal. When you were telling me this morning, we thought we were going to actually go and do it on the podcast and then you realized that uh, you, you were going to go ahead and do it as the message of the month. So I'll be taping that this week as well and getting that out uh, the first week of November. And um, so we're, we're looking forward to that. But if this uh, podcast has, has piqued your interest for the uh, book, I uh, recommend you, you go in and get in the free shipping. That, that would be a, a nice bonus there. And uh, that will be coming to you. Uh, this day that we get them, we will be shipping them out. And um, so I'm looking forward to uh, to having that happen and and getting those all out to y'all. And like I said, there's been a whole mess of uh, pre-orders. And um, so we'll, we'll get those out to you and you can experience your own sovereign touch. I think when the book arrives, all published and beautiful, We'll have a celebration of Thanksgiving. That it's that it's going out now. That it's here. That God gave it. And people are going to have it. And that's going to be our celebration of Him. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from GetAlongWithGod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. 
At Shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.